In this tutorial, we will introduce the concept of keywords and content groups and how they can be used to mass generate content for your WordPress website. We'll go ahead and use a CSV file of locations, but you're not limited to having locations. You could have services, you could have people, you can have a combination of locations and services depending on your project. Firstly, we'll need to bring our location data into Page Generator Pro, and we can do this by navigating to Page Generator Pro and clicking on Keywords. You'll see that we have the option here to generate locations. We have a separate video on using this functionality. This allows you to query our database or AI databases to automatically build location data. For the purpose of this introduction, we assume we have our own data that we'd like to bring into the keyword system. So we clicked on add new keyword. We'll go ahead and enter the name of location. And for the source, we could manually enter all of our locations here or copy and paste them from a CSV file or somewhere else. Alternatively, what we can do is on the drop down here is we can select the CSV file option. We can then choose the file from the media library by clicking the button. And we have the option here to upload that file. So we'll go ahead from our computer, we will select our location CSV file click open and we see it's available here. We make sure it's ticked and we click the select button. Our file has its columns in the first row, so we'll tick this. And for CSV files, the delimiter is typically a comma. So we'll enter the comma in this field here. We'll click save and we can see that the keyword was saved successfully. And if we scroll down, we have a table presentation view of the data that we imported. And we could, if we like, search this data to make sure that we've got the expected information. We can also paginate through the information as well. With our keyword set up, we now need to define our content group. And we can think of content groups as templates from which all of our pages are generated. So in Page Generator Pro, we see on screen here, we've clicked on the Generate Content menu link, and we then have the option to add a new content group. You're then presented with a familiar interface, also used for pages, posts, and custom post types. To reference our keywords, we use the left curly brace. And we see that when we do this, we have a drop-down list of the existing keywords as well as any column names that are included in those keywords. So when we imported our location data, we had two columns, city name and county name, and they're available to us. Firstly, we'll select location, and then in our content area, or this example, we'll do some content about location. Our description is an internal reference. This can be useful if you have lots of different content groups and want to remember which content group relates to the content that you're producing. Most importantly is that we set the permalink here. So once again, we can use the left curly brace, select location. On some fields, we do also have the option here for the insert keyword dropdown. We can click that and we can see that the keyword is inserted here. We'll go ahead and publish this group. We'll next navigate to the content group tab here. If you don't see this right hand sidebar, so for example, your screen looks like this, you can click this icon here to toggle the setting sidebar. Once you've done that, you can click the content group tab and you'll see a number of options on the right hand side. We have separate videos that cover these in more detail, but to give a quick introduction, we can choose the type of post or page or a custom post type that we'd like to generate, some status information, some detailed information on overwriting and the method to use for generation. We can also limit things like the number of pages and so on. For this, we'll start with a test. So scrolling to the bottom gives us these two buttons here, test and generate via browser. It's always recommended to do a test first and this will produce one page or post in draft mode, meaning only we can see that and we can double check we're happy with everything before we then go ahead and generate all of our pages. We'll click the test button and we can see here that the test has been generated and if we click the preview link, we can see that the first keyword term, ACOX Green West Midlands, has been replaced in the title and it's also been replaced here. If we go back to our content group to show you what happened, the location keyword here has been replaced with the first location. And if we go to our keywords themselves, we can have a quick look to see that the first entry here is ACOS Green West Midlands. We referenced earlier the ability to select columns within your keyword terms. So we can see here we have two columns available, the city name and the county name. In our content group, instead of 
using just the location keyword, we can define that specific column to output instead. So in this example, I will delete the location keyword, open the left curly brace, and this time I only want to output the city, so I'll go ahead and select the city name. And we'll leave this one as it was before, so this will output the full city and county or, or state. We'll click Save, and once again click the Content Group tab, we can scroll down, click Test, and we can preview the update. And this time we can see that instead of it displaying the city and the county in the title, we only have the city. If we're happy with the content that we produce, we can go ahead and click Generate via Browser. This will iterate through all of the locations within that location keyword, generating a unique page for each of them. After a few moments, we can see on screen that all 203 pages are generated. To remind ourselves why that's 203, it's because we have 203 terms, or in this case locations, within our location keyword here. If we go ahead and click on a couple of them, we can see we have each of our pages with the applicable data from that location keyword. Hopefully that's been a useful introduction into using Page Generator Pro. Do check out our documentation and this YouTube channel. We do have a lot of other videos which go into more detail, particularly with regards to the keyword system, where, for example, you may wish to specify a different source, such as a spreadsheet or a CSV URL. We also have videos covering the Generate Locations functionality. And for those that are using page builders or third-party SEO plugins or schema plugins, we provide details on how they integrate with Page Generator Pro's content groups here.